Today, we're gonna to be going to different coin shops all around the St. Louis area and buying silver. Now, I am going to buy at least one ounce of silver from every shop I visit, regardless of how much it is. But of course, today, I'm gonna to be looking for deals. Now, I brought with me today $750, and I'm hoping that I spend it all. And if I do, that means I found really good deals. But no matter how bad of a deal it is, I'm gonna buy at least a full ounce of silver from every shop that we go to. Let's do it. Don't forget, by the way, to subscribe and help the channel continue to grow if you like videos like this. My channel is sponsored by sdbullion.com. New customers can get their first order of gold or silver at spot by going to sdbullion.com forward slash new. All right, so our first stop today is gonna to be SNL Coin. They have four and a half stars, 50 reviews, a lot of good reviews there. I have been to the shop once. I bought some silver from them before. They didn't recognize me last time. My hope is that they don't recognize me this time. We're actually pretty close, only a few miles away. So we're gonna go ahead and head there and uh, see if we can find some silver. This is gonna be an undercover operation today, guys. So my plan is for not them not to recognize me. I wanna go into the shop. I want to uh, you know, find out what they're selling certain silver things for, get in and buy at least one ounce of silver, get a receipt and then share with you my experience. So I won't be able to record because obviously they'll wonder why I'm recording if I go in and I start recording. And of course I'll have to ask permission because it's private property. So I'd have to get permission to record anyway. But if they recognize me, I will ask them if they'd be interested in getting in front of the camera. But other than that, this is gonna be a, hopefully an all undercover ops. All right, and we are coming up on S and L coin. We're gonna head in and it looks like they may even have a couple of customers. I hope I'm not recognized. So as is unfortunately the norm whenever I do something like this, I don't bring enough money. So I, this is the first shop and I've already spent a lot of it. And that's because he gave me a really good deal. So you can see I bought this one thing and this is 10 ounce AG for $295. Keep in mind right now spot is $28.20. So it was a spot plus $1.30 but it was this really cool 10 ounce Canada Niagara Falls coin. This thing is really, really cool. And I had actually never seen one of these. I had to get on Google and look it up. But yeah, that is that is really cool. I had to take that. And it looks a lot better outside of the capsule. Like it sure does. I took the capsule off and there's some dust on it, but there's no milk spotting. There's no scratching. It's been well taken care of. And then I bought some more stuff. So I have a second receipt here. You can see for 118, which was 29.50 times four. And that's because after I bought this, I'm like, well, let me go through these. And of course I found some really cool bars. So we have this one ounce silver Columbus bar. This is actually, um, let's see, it says Boston welcomes the ANA 1973. And then you have this really awesome piece right here, which I thought was really cool. There's another art bar under the old oak tree. Uh, we have this landing of Columbus one ounce silver bar right here. This is from the Liberty Mint. Looks like it's a 70s art bar. And then this one right here, One American Heritage, another art bar, the British Surrender at Yorktown. So, uh, yeah, really cool, great shop, little shop out here in St. Louis, SNL Coin. And uh, if you go in, tell him I was in, and I was the guy who we talked to that buy, bought this stuff. Maybe he'll recognize me. Um, and a great little shop. Definitely recommend stopping in and seeing if they have some cool stuff for a good price. Because, yeah, for a dollar thirty over spot, some really cool art bars. A 10 ounce premium silver right there. Can't beat it. All right, let's get our next shop. All right, so it looks like our next shop is gonna be Midwest Money. This one is only 1.9 miles from us. Now, Midwest Money has been around for a long time. I've been to their shop. It's just been a very, very long time since I've been there. I mean, a very long time, uh, but they're very well known. They're one of the bigger shops around the area. So again, we're gonna go in, we're gonna do it mystery style. We're gonna do it undercover style, if you will. And they're only 1.9 miles from me, so let's go in and uh, see what they have. I'll bring you guys in when I get done. All right, so it's definitely been a while since I've been in that one, but I got a couple of cool things. They were a little bit more pricey than the one I was just at, but it really wasn't much of a difference. And I think I got a really good deal on a couple of George uh, T. Morgan NGC slabs. Let me show you what I got. All right, so this time they had one of these stagecoach rounds and they're, you know, random generic silvers. I really like these. They were selling any of their generics at $30 an ounce, which was spot plus plus $1.80, uh, so not too bad. You can see they have that right here on the receipt, one ounce and nine silver. But they also had these George T. Morgans, and I've had these before, I really like them. And it's basically just a 100 union design. It struck obviously in 2015, but it's the proposed design from 1876. So I have a one ounce right here for $35. So they sold it to me for 35, so 35 an ounce. 
And same for this one, 35 an ounce, but this is a one and a half ounce proof. So this one cost me $52.50. So total on this spot, I spent $117.50. Again, a little bit less than the other shop, but once again, this is not a bad shop. I mean, you know, they're not selling silver way too high. You know, $30, one spot's $28.20. You know, that's that's $1.80 over spot. That's that's not bad at all. I mean, you can't really get it online any better than that. And when you go online, you have to ship, you know, pay for shipping and so on, unless you spend, you know, at least a couple hundred bucks. All right, so next up is we're going to do this Talisman Coins. I've never actually heard of this, uh, and I know a lot of the coin shops around here, I've never heard of Talisman Coins. So hopefully it's a real coin shop, and I'm not just going to, you know, something that is called coins, but it doesn't sell coins. So we're 5.5 miles away from Talisman Coins, so let's go ahead and uh, see what they have. Let's do it. We're driving to the next spot. I'll, I'll say this, and I may not even put this in the video. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but... And I'm sorry it's so noisy. I have the windows down because it's kind of warm today. But uh, you may be wondering why I'm driving a Tesla. A lot of people on the silver and gold, you know, they're like, why would you drive a Tesla? It doesn't make any sense. Well, it's not for any of the reasons that you think people normally drive EVs for. It's not an environment thing. It's not a save the planet thing. It's none of that. I'm a tech guy at heart. I was formerly in, uh, in IT. I was a network engineer. And I love technology. So I love the technology that goes into Teslas. And honestly, I really love how cheap it is to drive. You know, Missouri has really low energy rates. So it costs me, if I charge overnight, like five cents per kilowatt hour to charge this thing. I get four miles roughly per kilowatt hour of energy spent. So I go four miles for five cents. That means 50 cents for 40 miles. For the price of a gallon of gas at 350, I go uh, 320 miles. So yeah, uh, that's that's awesome but i also just love the technology and i mean quite literally the car is driving itself right now which is a lot of fun but you have to supervise it you can't let it do it on its own you have to be there to take over in case it messes up man i'll be honest it's pretty good so we're a mile in it we're a mile we're 1.7 miles i should say from talisman coins i'll bring you in when we get there and i'll show you what we got as well let's keep going well this one uh, unfortunately was a bust guys so here we are, and we have, we're looking for 9051 Suite 103. And over here at that primary eye care, we have 9051D, and then there's a UPS store, which is 9051C. And then we have 9053, 9059. That used to be a police precinct, Camp Bow Wow, West Lake Ace Hardware. And I already walked all the way around this building, and there's a fitness center at the end of it, and then the rest of it behind it is just the back of the building. So there is no Suite 103 that I can find. And unfortunately, Talisman Coins doesn't have a phone number on their website. It says open, it says what the address is. Google leads me right to this parking lot, but uh, it's not here. So I guess we will, uh, I guess we'll go to the next one. All right, well, next up, it looks like Crestwood Coin and Jewelry. We are in Crestwood, so may as well do that one and it's really close. So we're gonna head to Crestwood Coin and Jewelry. I'll head in and we'll see what we can get. Let's do it. All right, guys, I'm recording my phone instead of the GoPro, but that was Crestwood Coin and Jewelry. I uh, didn't buy a whole lot, really good shop, really nice people. They just didn't have, uh, you know, much to look at. They didn't have a whole lot of like different generics and things like that. I did find a Chiwu though, uh, which I'm really excited about. So we're headed to the car. I'll take a, I'll show you what I got. All right. So I paid 34, which I mean, it's a collectible piece. I'm not upset about it. And it's an antiqued. So we have ourselves a Chiwu Qianwang, which I'm a big fan of these. And this one here is a 2021, I believe. Yeah, 2021 Chiwu with an antiqued finish. Uh, in the capsule, again, 34, I'm not really upset. Like I paid less than $6 an ounce of her spot for a collectible piece that I really liked. So uh, that was Crestwood Coin and Jewelry. This is another good shop. I mean, they were nice to me and uh, very friendly. They had multiple employees. I did have to wait a while, but this is not their fault. They were helping somebody that spent way more money then, you know, this little $34 is nothing. So the people that were in front of me, they were sitting at the counter that had all of the really cool uh, designed silver that they did have, which wasn't a whole lot. They had some pandas and stuff, but they wrote them a check for $75,000 worth of gold. And they were actually there picking up a previous order of, I don't know how much silver, but it looked like more than a monster's box worth of silver that they were there picking up. And then they wrote them a $75,000 check for gold. Helping me and my little measly $34 was certainly not on top of their list. So I was happy to wait and I was happy to listen. One thing I'll tell you, and I'm going to go to one more shop today, is that what I heard in this shop is what I heard in the last two. 
is that for the most part, there are definitely more sellers than buyers right now. It is certainly a market where there aren't as many buyers as there are people selling silver with the spot price going up. I see it. We talked about this before. Mm. There's, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are getting out while the spot price goes up, trying to get some of their money back. Those of them that got in during the silver squeeze and it's just not working out for them. So anyway, we're going to keep on going. Let's find one more shop and see what we have. All right, so our next and final shop is this one right here, South County Coin and Jewelry. Uh, we're going to go there, see if we can find some silver there, 5.3 miles from us. And uh, we'll see if we can pick something up. That's awesome. We have a little bit of money left, really low, but we're almost there. Uh, let's go and see what they have. Just a quick update. This was definitely more than five miles away. You can I've already been on the road for a few minutes, and you can see we're still 5.3 miles away now. So uh, clearly the car was basing the distance on a different... Uh, location than we were actually at but um, yeah I have no idea yeah 5.1 miles still ago and what the heck so anyway I don't know if I even put this in the video but I was like floored when I looked down I'm like why are we still so far away it was only supposed to be five miles all right guys so that was our last stop we picked up two ounces of silver one for 35 one for 30 uh, you know same thing I mean everything's going for under two dollars an ounce over spot except for specialty pieces uh, so we had a little bargain bin of, you know, $30 an ounce. So right now, spots actually went up. It's $28.35 right now. I just checked. So I got it for $1.65 over spot. You can't beat that. And uh, let me show you what we got. All right. So we spent $65 total. And it wasn't, you know, $32.50 each. So this one right here, $30. Bucks. It was a one-ounce silver Apache Princess round, which I thought was really cool. On the reverse here, you can see you got a lightning bolt. And, uh, you know, it has... I guess that's an ace, AJ for Ace and I don't know. Uh, but it's from Baton Rouge, LA. You got the skull and crossbones. I just thought it was a really neat design. Uh, and then this one, this was in a pick at 35 bin. And this is a uh, 2021 Tuvalu. You can see you have Hades right there. So really cool. That was 35. That was 30 for a total of $65. We are really low on money. So I think we're going to call it here. But if you guys want to stick with me for just another minute, we'll do an overview of everything I got and what I spent and what my overall cost per ounce was in today's market. We'll look at spot and see uh, how I did. Let's do it. All right. So we are back in the studio and I have $120.50 left from what I took with me, $750. So I had some change left over, which means we spent $629.50, which matches our receipts. Now we got a total of 20.5 ounces for $30.71 per ounce, which is only 238 over spot. If you consider right now, spot is at 28.33 for the end of today. Right now it is April 11th at 1724 or 524. So not bad, spot plus 238, really good when you consider that we got some really awesome pieces. So take a look at this. We have this really cool 10 ounce uh, Canada Niagara Falls. I'd never seen this before. This thing is awesome. Uh, $29.50, that's such a great price. Really excited about that one. We got both of these unions right here. These have a very high premium, especially being certified. You have one that is a one ouncer certified by NGC and a one and a half ouncer also certified by NGC. We also have this really, really awesome uh, one ounce silver Hades round. Uh, this one right here comes from Tuvalu. We have some generic rounds, but really cool generic rounds like this one here and this one there I showed you. And then these four silver bars. I didn't realize I was looking at this and I did not realize that this was a Father's Day bar. So that is a really cool design. And you can see it's actually 1974 first annual Father's Day under the old oak tree one ounce silver bar. So really awesome silver bars. And then finally, this one ounce silver antiqued Chi Wu Qian Wing that we got right here. These are awesome as well. So very, very cool. All this, you know, really neat silver for just 238 over spot is really not bad. But this shows you that right now they are definitely lacking on buyers because the premiums are very low at these local coin shops that I went to today, which means they are just trying to lower the price on stuff to sell it because there aren't as many buyers as there are sellers. So a lot of people selling, not as many people buying, not including that one guy that said he was going to buy 75000 worth of gold and then wrote the check right there while I was sitting next to him. Uh, but otherwise, a uh, great hunt today and a great four coin secret shop, co four coin shop secret shop, I should say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe and help me continue to grow. Don't forget to hit that like button to let YouTube know you like this and recommend it to others. And other than that, we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.